this is Tammy with Vintage Uprise in Texas. And since I haven't been able to go thrifting, I wanted to show you what I've been doing. Other than doing some listing, I've also been in my sewing room slash craft room making face masks since it's a big demand and I got the supply. So I wanted to show y'all a little bit and everything in my sewing room is vintage from thrifting. Everything's from Goodwill, estate sales, or flea markets and such. And part of this room is, a quarter of this room belongs to my husband. But here is my project. I've been taking orders for face masks. And here's a few that I just finished. But I wanted to show you my sewing room too. I have lots of fun, interesting things in here. I started collecting the little vintage sewing machines. And scissors. Yeah, pardon me. There's a mess in here. But I've been collecting fabric as well from estate sales and Goodwill. I even have a whole closet back here. My collection of Raggedy Ann and Andy is back here somewhere. This whole room is wall-to-wall -wall fabric. That's mostly my double knits and um, double knits and what is it? Polyester stuff. But lots of goodies. So I've been teaching myself to sew. And This is how I've been putting three pieces of fabric together. Ran out of elastic. Nobody has elastic, so I've been using t-shirt material to make the ear pieces. This is my stack that I still got to do. Somebody wants me to make mass out of Crown Royal bags. That will be my first attempt. We'll try that. And here's my, this is my husband's section it's kind of dark on this side but these are all the face masks i've not all the ones i've done some people have picked them up but these are the ones i got done in the last couple of days and they're waiting for pickup so another whole pile see i don't have enough shelving so it's stacked here at the end of my sewing table and it's a mess down there. So I'm gonna show you how I make my face mask. I take three pieces of fabric, seven by nine squares, and the back two for the back, is two pieces for the back, and I take them and I fold them in half and press them so I can get this crease. And then I'm gonna sew them just halfway in leaving an open gap right here and this is how we form a pocket do a back stitch and then turn it and do it on the other side
sewed it halfway this way and halfway there. And then I'm going to take it and open it up. So that way we have a opening in the middle. And then I'm just going to kind of finger press it down. And then with right sides together, and then put those down, and then take my little t-shirt straps that I made. They're one inch, and you stretch them out a little bit, and they curl in. And then I'm going to lay them inside the fabric. all the way around the perimeter, like an eighth of an inch around. take it and I'm going to cut the corners off so it lays flatter. And then I already cut a bunch of these little floor wire and turn the ends in and I lay it at the top for the nose piece so the mass will form around the nose and then I just do a zigzag on it to keep it down turn it right side out through the pocket pushing the corners out with my finger or maybe you need to add a little pencil or something stiff to push them out if you need to And then I try to bring all my edges out and then I just kind of finger press it for now I'm trying to save myself some steps and then I do the put the pleats in like that I take it back to the sewing machine and I put a straight edge all the way around it.
then I have my mass. We open it up. It opens up wider. Then we have the little pocket here. And then from here I take it to my iron and press the pleats down. And that's it. Now just uh, about 20 more to go and I should be done. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.